Residents in an upstate apartment complex have been out of water since Saturday when a pipe burst and they say they aren't getting the help they need. Our Taggart Halk is following this and he joins us live in Greenville to break all of this down. Tag, what's going on? Yeah, well, good evening to you both. It's bad enough to not have water, but some of these residents here have actually uh, had water dripping from their ceilings and their light fixtures for days. <laughs> These bins can only hold so much, collecting water from the ceiling and lights. This is the worst one. Some rooms better than others. In this building at the Parker at Cone Apartments in Greenville, a part of Section 8 housing. I started with three leaks, that one, that one, and the one over there on the couch. Ceiling bulging. After a pipe burst in Antonia Anderson's unit over the weekend. All the floors have been flooded, water everywhere. And when asked about a motel or anything, oh, we can't give you a motel room. We can't do this. We can't do that. You know, we can't transfer you out to another apartment. So what am I supposed to do? Water has been shut off, but it's much colder here. As you can see, it's a hole in the ceiling. Without power, it's a dangerous combination. Water also made its way down to Stephen, Missouri, who's disabled after suffering a stroke two years ago. He now sits in the dark, musty room. We ain't got nowhere else to go. So I gotta deal, gotta deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. We went to the leasing office. Yeah. Have you heard from people who got the, the donut water in their apartment? Oh yes, we're yeah. on top of it. And they referred us to the company Gem Management in Charlotte. A way that we can talk to somebody from corporate now? Or... Okay, thank you. And we should note, we did reach out to Gem Management. We have not yet heard back from them, but uh, we have been speaking with upstate activist Bruce Wilson, who's been advocating on behalf of a lot of residents here. He tells us that around 3.30 this afternoon, the building was officially deemed uninhabitable, uh, and that when a building is deemed uninhabitable, that complex would have to pay for the residents to have temporary housing. So that is the update there. Uh, residents apparently will have to be out by 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, according to him. For now in Greenville, Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4.